Hi, I'm Carolyn Judge and these are our 2017 Harley Davidson Road Kings. They are both exactly the same bikes. My husband and I ride around New Zealand and we're documenting all of those rides for our own posterity. But the riding and the footage is so good with the GoPro Hero 5 Black that we thought that we'd put it up on the internet to share with people. So join us as we ride around New Zealand and later we're off to Australia. Enjoy this ride that's coming up next. It's a, it's a typical ride that we do on these beautiful bikes. Just filled up with gas. We're in Stratford. Heading over to Taramanui via the Forgotten Highway. Last gas for 150 k's. That's why my clever husband just filled us up with gas. So this is a ride that we've been wanting to do for a long time. Unsealed. Well, we thought that quite a lot of it was unsealed. But now we understand that only about 10 k's of it are, is unsealed. Otherwise, by all accounts, it sounds like it's a very good road. take these bikes on any unsealed road because the paint job on these bikes is really beautiful. Don't want to get stone chips. But we've got a protective coat put on them. At a place called the Wrap Shop in Auckland. like a high-tech version of sticky back plastic protects the bikes from stone chips we've got it on the tanks and on the front of the panniers even on the forks at the front all the places that pick up a lot of stone chips wow look at this look at this view what a Great ride. Apart from that sign back there that said high motorbike crash area. That's encouraging. How beautiful. The ride down yesterday was lovely. Nice sunny day like today. get a strong headwind since we came into New Plymouth which is okay but with the camera on top of the helmet it's a lot of drag and by the time we got to New Plymouth my neck was aching what a great road there's a road we do like this um, near the bottom of the Coromandel called Old Tiaraha Road similar it's great riding and it's so brave being out in front doing roads like this because they're all blind corners and big hills it takes a lot of courage to be the lead rider I never take the lead because I never know where I'm going I've got no sense of direction and if I had to follow a nav man oh, that would be too much of a distraction for me but it's a picture postcard around every corner I've got to say the hills are amazing 
I've seen this terrain when we've flown over here, like when we've flown like to Wellington. I've seen all this rugged little little hilly kind of environment. So it's great to be riding through it. seat here getting the bike around these pretty tight bends I'm in second gear now in third the bike handles low revs very well but I don't want that back wheel locking up on me so I've got to keep those revs up There's a truck. I never thought there'd be a truck through here. Oh, there's Egmont. Fantastic. Big drop-offs on the side. Big slip away from the road there. Wow, what a world class road. I mean not the quality but the the view and the setting. trucks are coming through here that's amazing I mean that can hardly be a shortcut from from anywhere I guess they're um, actually doing business through here picking up farm supplies and dairy cows and logs and stuff technical road really fantastic the whole thing looks like a set from the Lord of Ring Lord of the Rings out of kind of fifth gear
great bike. I love this motorbike. tight corner well that's quite random <laughs> somebody <laughs> driving a beach buggy here with a helmet on that's uh, that's unusual not what I would have expected to one lane shit they've had such a major slip down there wow that looked very dangerous for those workmen there's another one I'll chop down for that okay I'm in second gear here just gotta keep the revs on it's kind of scary to, to have to keep revs on when you're not wanting to go very fast. But if I'd gone into first gear back there, that would have been way too low. Oh. <laughs> this road is so full of hazards. <laughs> Cheers mate, that's a cushy job you got there, especially the guy behind, that's amazing that they're mowing the side of the road, he's got the cushiest job of all. <laughs> Always expect a logging truck, this mustn't go over mustn't even lean over that centre line. I did it once on a road like this. I was pretty much, I was inexperienced and I was, I was leaning over, probably on the centre line and leaning across the road and a logging truck came in the opposite direction and it was pretty close got to say it was so close and it his horn at me he knew and I knew that I'd made a almost a fatal mistake and I I remember that 
you know, it's experience, these cock-ups are experience, but oh wow, this is really tight. There's a place 50 k's up from the beginning of this ride called Bonga Moana or something and I'm starting to think that that is going to be a good place to stop for coffee Oh nice This is so nice you know, just taking our time and riding it well. Heaps of slips. We had lots of rain last weekend, like in some places 450 mils of rain, that's a huge amount. And uh, I think this road must, might have got washed out during that. Fongamomona uh, saddle. After all that clutch work, my hand really hurts. But the clutch is manageable. This is very remote country now. It's not, not a place where you'd want to have a breakdown or a flat tire. I've got to say that these Harley Davidsons are so reliable. We have never had a mechanical problem ever. We keep them maintained, we keep them serviced, and do all that we have to do. But still, you know, just never ever a mechanical problem. Bit of um, civilization here. Here we are at Fongamomona. Oh, honey stopped. That's good. I think I'm ready for a little break. <laughs> you want to stop for coffee? That lovely little church in the setting. You can imagine the pioneer settlers being here. Well, there's not too many coffee options. What a great place. Lost. Oh, here's the bike doing its um, boom, boom, boom. GoPro battery back there and I clean
moving the lens because two bugs had squished on it. I don't think the footage earlier was ruined by the bugs, but anyway, that's just going to happen. Okay, riding. Riding with more confidence here. Fourth gear. set through here Stopping here, just getting ready to head off after our lunch stop. Switched yep, switched on and ready to go. <clears throat> Check my bike. All good. Okay. Okay, we're on the way. That was a hill start. Wow, this is awesome. Look at this. That's amazing. there. Terrific. 
How exciting. We reckon we've got three more hours of riding yet. We've, we're halfway along this forgotten highway. It's not that it's a, a long distance, it's just that it's such a slow road because it's all so winding. I think this is where the tar seal runs out. But the guy we met back um, at that car park by the tunnel said that they keep this really well maintained. I'm very comfortable and confident through here. Always looking ahead. What a good husband waiting for me. He really does look out for me all the time. He's the best friend I could have ever dreamed of having. I should probably have closed all my helmet vents but it's a very hot day. Okay I'll chop down for this corner. That's the end of it. Ruapehu district now. Oh, I think we might be back into Tarsiel. I can't see a bloody thing through my visor now. Slowing it down for a single. to meet a bike, not a car. with that big hill.
gear. They really are tight corners. To think that it was only six weeks ago that I was trying to get this bike to turn in a car park. I sort of got the hang of it. Yeah, you just really just got to lean the bike over to get it around. It takes confidence to do that. But I think this is our fifth ride. I think I've got the confidence now. So I'm riding better. Beautiful carcateers. Looking pretty ancient. I love painting horses. It's probably the, my favourite subject to paint. But they're very hard to sell. Top Gear! That's the first time since we had our coffee that I've got into Top Gear. this one rougher than the um, unsealed road really a lot of loose stones it's almost like you've got to ride it like it's unsealed doing? You can't do that.
Zealand scene. Isn't it magnificent? Four dogs. scene. That's great. Beautiful horses in there. everyday thing for those guys but for us city slickers it's a marvelous thing to see trouble is I've only probably burnt like 10 calories today because I've been just sitting on my ass all day but mentally I feel drained really drained it's a big technical ride from New Plymouth to Tulmanui via the Forgotten Highway. A big day of riding. There are some rides that we do and I think I wouldn't mind if I ever did it again but this is one I definitely would want to do again. Maybe in the opposite direction next time.